This video is going to continue with our worst case analysis of a simple voltage divider using a uh, source and two resistors, all of which are going to be tolerance. Now this is a representation of the schematic I showed you in the MathCAD. Uh, the source does not have a tolerancing, uh, P-SPICE does not allow tolerancing of sources. So what we're going to have to do is change this so that we can get a source that is in fact tolerant. So by moving up the schematic here, we'll see our actual schematic that we're going to use for our simulation. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a 1 amp uh, current source and feed it into a resistor that's nominal value is the value of our reference, which is 5.1 volts. We're going to give it a tolerance of 2%, which is what we did in the uh, MathCAD program. Uh, this then produces a voltage that's current running through this resistor. It gives us a voltage that I'm calling VREF which feeds into a very high impedance analog behavioral block. Since we're just repeating on the output what's on, what's on the input, the output voltage here will mirror the input voltage. So you can see that as the tolerance of this component changes, this voltage here will change by the tolerance and be reflected on the output here. So we now have a, a source that is tolerant. We have our 10.2K ohm resistor, 18.7K ohm resistor with the 1% tolerancing. We're going to run this so that we have the uh, positive direction in our simulation. Set it up. Okay. And see where the nominal is and also where the uh, worst case extreme value is. Uh, let's spread this out a little bit. Plot. Uh, let's say 3.2 to uh, 3.5. Spread out a little bit and we bring in our cursor. Now the first trace down here in the little square, that's our nominal value. And if we put the cursor over it and select it, we can see that it's 3.3 volts. Selecting the red trace, our cursor now goes up to here, and we can see that it's 3.3897 volts. So EVA, with the tolerancing that we have, uh, matches our MathCAD program uh, for the positive sense tolerancing. Now we've got to flip it the other way, because remember, tolerancing can be plus and minus. So we're going to go into our simulation. Select the low, OK, and then run it again. And now we can see the nominal is going to be the same, 3.3 volts. And the worst case is now going to be 3.2111, which matches up with our MathCAD file. Uh, something to notice here is that when you, when you do worst case analysis and you have to present this to your customer, this is much easier to explain what's going on to a customer. They can read a schematic usually a lot better than pages after pages of MathCAD. So it's a, it, I'm an advocate of using PSPICE to do these analysis. We can change things quicker. Uh, we have a schematic representation, a picture if you will, instead of these horrendous closed form equations that you can get to, especially when you go to multiple comparator circuits, um, you have uh, pulse width modulated circuits when you want to do the AC and the DC analysis. Transients, if you want to do transients, it's very hard to do that in MathCAD. Um, so this is a, a much better representation and it's easier to present to your customers so that they know what's going on, so they have more confidence in uh, what you're doing. Again, this is a very simplistic simulation. Uh, it does not show any of the effects of the temperature, aging, or radiation. Um, a lot of these functions might be uh, are, are a major concern when you're doing aircraft circuit analysis or spacecraft circuit analysis, and in some cases, high reliability, critical commercial circuits. So we're going to get into a more complicated 
design using a comparator and do a worst case analysis on it to show the uh, the difference between a MathCAD simulation for a simple uh, comparator and a piece by simulation. So, see you next time. Thanks for watching.